T-Rex. I heard that there was 12 typhoons in the Philippines this year. Oh my. Why do you have so many typhoons? Because, like us, the Philippines in a typhoon region, when a typhoon comes, many places will be flooded. That's very terrible. Yes, that's why some superheroes noticed the problem, and they wanted to make floating first aid kits. This is a good idea. Let's invite them to share their story. of the Philippines and we will present our community project entitled Floating Emergency Kits. We are the students from Navota City and we aim to inspire and give hope to everyone. And we believe that every problem has a solution. So why Floating Kit? Let's all listen to the story of Kyle. Thank you, Diana. I will never forget the worst experience we had in my entire life. I was just six years old and there is a category 3 typhoon. It was just only me, my sister and my mom who were there at that time since my father is at work four hours away from us. The flood inside our house is already reached neck level of an adult. The flood is chocolate brown and it, and it becomes with very thick mud since we live nearby the water, since we live by the river. My mom cannot bring all the appliances upstairs. The fridge, washing machine, dining table, and other furniture were destroyed by flood waters. We stayed in the second level. Oh. Because of what Kuya Kyle experienced, we made it the basis of our project since it was still happening to other families in our community. Navotas. We started brainstorming possible solutions for flooding, but unfortunately, as kids, we cannot completely eradicate a problem, but we can help people prepare. Improper waste management is one of the main causes of flooding, so we wanted to reduce waste while at the same time help people prepare. Since plastic is also one of the main causes, we made it the base of our prob for our project. We modified big plastic bottles to fit first aid kit materials and important documents. Important documents. Since the kit is made of plastic, it will float on water. To help fund our project, we collected garbage and sold them at a junk shop. With teamwork and determination, we were able to make it through. Indeed, the road had been rough and we encountered a lot of struggles along the way. 
Challenges like limited time and resources did not hinder us from continuing the project. In fact, these challenges enhance our leadership capacity. We can still remember the day that we immersed ourselves in the community to distribute the emergency floating kit. While we were walking, one old lady caught our attention. She was in a makeshift house and she was very grateful seeing us, taking the initiative to help other people like her. She was smiling at me and she personally thanked me. This short encounter with this old lady inspired me to continue what we are doing. I realized that every struggle that we encountered along the way is the road to accomplishment our project. Furthermore, Kyle's personal experience showed that there are more solutions than problems. Using the design thinking process, limited time and resources did not hinder us from continuing our project. Along the way, I learned that the value and capacity of each and everyone. Lastly, we believe that together we can Basta't sama-sama, kayang-kaya! Okay, what was the most memorable part during the process? Yung pinaka-memorable po na part sa amin ay when we went around the school and to collect recycled material para po maibenta ito sa junk shop. At masayang-masaya kami na makita na, na, na tumutulong yung mga co-students namin sa amin para magawa yung project namin. At napakasaya namin, nandito kami ngayon at nasa harapan ninyong lahat. Thank you. You are all superheroes. You have done a great job. Let's say, Renwu Chenggong. Now. Okay. One, two, Three, the old child.